Hola Minecraft fans, it's Collins. Today we're going to build the grinder. And if you've been following along from the Crusher tutorial, most of the stuff will be familiar. Except the grinder controller is built with only one electric motor, a battery, and then some iron and carbide, and of course a multi-block chassis. So that is our grinder controller. And just like the Crusher, you place it one block above the ground. Because this is such a tall structure, I've actually just carved out some stuff in the ground because we're going to build this out. So let's go ahead and build this structure. Alright, so we clicked on our controller, there's the I.O. at the top, that's our input. There's I.O. in the back, that's our output, and then there's actually power on both sides. And then once you build this structure, it doesn't automatically complete, just like the grinder, just like the crusher. <laughs> so you right click the controller and it will become a complete structure. If you break one of the blocks, um, if you do this in survival, you'll get your block back. The machine will disappear when you rebuild it, it doesn't automatically reappear until you right click the controller again. And this has um, energy I.O. on both sides. So we can actually input. We're just using a, a generator from the mod. So you can input on any, either side. And if you input on one side, you can actually output this and run it to another magnetic craft machine. For the ease of the rest of this tutorial, we're just going to use another mod. We got Ender I.O. and uh, Iron Chest mod. So we've got an I Iron Chest for input and an O Obsidian Chest for output on our machine. And we're going to use that to process some ores. And I've got a couple other machines built underground. I just want to show you how this works. Uh, so this top of it, it looks like a hopper. It actually is a hopper. So you can drop items on the ground and they will input into the machine. Unfortunately, it doesn't pull items from an inventory. So it doesn't fully act like a hopper, at least not in this version, which is 0 0.6.1. So there's a couple ways you can input stuff into this machine. You can actually use just a vanilla Minecraft hopper and that will input items into the machine. There's also a buildcraft chute, which is an upgraded version of the hopper, and it does work a little bit faster. You could input items into that, and it would put items into the machine. Another thing you can do is these uh, conveyor belts, and the inserters from the Magnetocraft mod can actually uh, input I drop items on the ground. There's a drop items on the ground upgrade, and if you put that upgrade into an inserter, it will drop items into the ground. So we could use that inserter and it would drop items above there and they would get sucked in. One of the disadvantages to using this is if your system backs up, these items will be entities on the ground. Items on the conveyors are not entities, they won't despawn. But these items on the ground could possibly back up the system and uh, items would despawn. So it may be a better idea just to use a hopper or a chute or something like that to input items on this machine. One more thing with these inserters, you can actually get, uh, so we can process chunks in this machine and then we get rubble and you can process the rubble again and you get these pebbles. Uh, the chunks in the rubble, you can basically just stick one chunk and one rubble into the uh, sorting part of an inserter and set it to whitelist, ignore metadata, ignore MBT, and check the ore dictionary. And it will actually, with these two items in here, we'll use any of the chunks and any of the rubble, and it'll input any of those into the machine. Uh, but from our other tutorial on the crusher, we have some chunks, and we can go ahead and just stick those into our machine, and they should start processing. Uh, so each chunk turns into one rubble. And there is a small chance that you will get extra dusts. We only got one dust in this. And then what you can do is you can build a second grinder, or you can stick these back into the same grinder and process them again, and you get another chance to get extra dusts. So we got some more dust out of this. And then this turns into this these pebbles, and the pebbles you would use in the sifter, which we can cover in another tutorial. So there's a couple other things you can do with this um, grinder. So the chunks obviously turn into rubble. The rubble turns into pebbles. Each of those has a small chance of producing dust. You can also take diamonds and crush them into diamond dust, and that's used in our solar panel for Magnetocraft. You can take nether quartz and crush it into quartz dust. You also have a chance to get a bonus on that, and that's again used in the solar panels. And then obsidian, you can use to get obsidian dust. There's some other recipes. You can look them up on the recipe list. in the machine. So thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for likes and subscribes and we'll catch you guys later.